Today I'm going to talk about the tallest Eurasian volcano. It's called Mount Damavan and it is in a place that you don't think even about it. That's in Iran. Iranian plateau is part of the uh, southwestern parts of the Eurasian plate. As you can see here, it's uh, being pushed by the African plate and part of it, which is the Arabian plate, toward the north, creating this uh, huge mountain range of Zagros and uh, Albors. Zagros is created be practically because the Arabian plate is tilted. And this tilt has caused this folding of the uh, earth, with earth crust, which is in the Zagros region. And the same process has caused the mi oil migrate upward toward the Arabian plate. Some of it, which is in Iran, uh, is trapped there because it was on the higher ground previously trapped. This tile volcano, which is in the Iran, in the northern part of Iran, close to the Caspian Sea, is 5,671 meters. In Eurasia, we don't have any volcano higher than this, uh, which is also active. I will explain that, uh, how it is active. Uh, the landscape of it is a landscape of contrast. As you can see here, this volcano is rising above all the hills and mountains around it, which are usually 3,000 to 4,000 meters high. And this is standing one and a half kilometer above all of that. The country itself is a country of the, you know, different things at the same time. You can go to the north and have an ski, uh, in a ski resort. And then at the same time, you can buy a ticket, go to the south of the country on the uh, Indian Ocean coast, be beside the coconut trees, or even uh, get a banana from a tree and just eat. That's the where this uh, volcano is located. As you can see, this volcano has a summit which has a crater lake on it. The crater lake is visited annually by a lot of you know tourists. It has been ascended centuries ago by many of the locals. They used to mine sulfur from that region. But even before that, there was an older volcano on top of it which we call old uh, Damovan. The old Damovan was blown up in a super, uh, super uh, you know, explosive event, which actually blew the top of the old Damovan and created the young Damovan later, which is you, what you see here, the old Damovan. You can see it even in a simple picture like that. The old Damovan is under the yellow line and the new Damovan is on top of it. This tilting of the plate has caused something fascinating happening to that region of the Albors mountain. We call it delamination. You can see it in the metal work. It's easy when you press a metal under a stress, it will form laminations. The laminations happen also in the earth crust. When the Eurasian plate pushes, uh, is pushed by the Arabian plate, this lamination happened at the, in the region of the Albors mountains, where practically the mountain doesn't have a root. So practically rising of the mantle under this, uh, created partial melting and creating this volcano. This is the place in mythology of the Iranian people that the tyrant Aziz Dehak, which literally means dragon, is a kind of you know uh, is a kind of a figure like the uh, Dracula. Imagine that so, uh, such a ruler it was in the past, and it is chained in that volcano. And when he, he sets free himself, the volcano will erupt. That will be the end of the world according to the mythology of the Iranian people. Uh, the volcano is yet uh, active with incense, and as I mentioned, people ex extract sulfur from there in the past. And it may awaken eventually, because we know that there is fumarole activity there. And who knows, one day we may wake up and hear that uh, Ajidahak is free, the dragon is freed himself, and the mountain has erupted. Tallest volcano in the Eurasian continent.